Hey YouTube, so uh, I recently bought a 2015 Chromebook Pixel. I've been using the uh, 2013 now for, uh, I want to say like maybe a little bit over five months now, and it's been like my dream. I love this thing. So I decided to upgrade to the 20, uh, 2015 one, and um, I've been looking all over YouTube, and I couldn't really find like a really good uh, comparison video comparing, you know, both of them, you know, how how they differ and you know some of the benefits and even some uh some negatives i want to say in comparison to uh the upgrade so like i said i looked all over youtube and i really couldn't find a good video so i figured hey i might as well make one myself so uh with that being said like this is the 2013 edition uh the only thing i do have to say though is that i did buy the 2013 edition i want to say five months ago but i did buy it brand new so that's the only issue right now. I bought this guy completely brand new in the box packaging. And this one was a second hand. So this one was used, I believe he said for seven or eight months prior. So technically this one is newer than this one. This this guy's already seen some, you know, usage. So I don't know if this can maybe change the the reasonings or, you know, some of like the aspects of it just because of the way it's functioning per se. But uh, that's the pixel over there. <laughs> pixel, see, I have them all. So um, the one thing, though, that I know differs a lot, as you can see right now from the screen, is just the color gamut. You can easily see that the whites are more a yellowy, washed out kind of hue, while the newer one has more of a real white, you know, flat white to it. So definitely cooler colors, but I think it looks a lot better, in my opinion. But the one thing I am noticing, though, is that I feel like this guy is brighter, and I don't know why. I, again, I don't know if this is like because it's second hand or because this guy's newer, but it, this, this one just looks brighter to me. And the other big thing that's always bugged me with uh, this new guy so far, and it's been bugging me for the last few days, has been the uh, the speakers. I've been using this guy exclusively, like I said, for five months, and I love, love watching videos. Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, you name it. Like, this has been my media machine. Even though I have a Pixel, which I can just pop right off and watch it. I still prefer this guy because the speakers are just amazing. Just gonna give you a quick glimpse of the difference between the speakers real fast. So let me put play now. You can hear at full volume, just loud, loud, loud. But for some reason with the 2015 one, I don't know what happened. They're, they're muffled. And it's like really, really noticeable how muffled the audio is. It, it, you can tell both the speakers are both beneath the keyboards, but I don't know if it was just what they did or what was, what was the added point of it. I don't know why the speakers are just took such a hit. And it, it blew my mind because I've been watching, like I said, videos nonstop on the 2013 one for the last six months and they have been on point. Like watching videos has been such a good experience, like such a fast web browser. But the speakers make me almost want to pick this guy up to watch videos and just this one for the long haul. Obviously, the biggest things that you gain from upgrading has been two key features. That's been the battery life and the addition of apps because everything else to me doesn't really... Because the, the color screen, yeah, it looks better, but unless you have them side by side, you really won't notice or even care until it's up in your face. But the addition of apps have definitely made the Chromebook Pixel 2 a, a better experience in that case. I play a lot of Hearthstone, so this thing's just amazing just to play it. But I do admit the battery life is astonishing. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I didn't mind this guy's battery life too much. Everyone was saying, oh, it's super bad. It's like five hours. Granted, mine's brand new, so I'm always getting my five, six hours. I didn't mind it. I'm like, yeah, cool, you know. I, I watched um, uh, Family Guy for three hours, you know, on medium brightness, full volume, perfectly fine. I only killed like 40, 60% of the battery, so not a big deal to me. I mean, I'm always buying outlets, so the low battery really didn't bug me. But until, until I started playing with this guy, and I played Hearthstone for two hours, I only killed like 15% of the battery. That blew me away. I was like, wow, I wasn't used to that. So definitely, I would say that uh, the battery and the addition of apps are amazing, but honestly, uh, I don't think it's outworked the upgrade. Like, if you already have the 2013 one and you have an Android phone, or in my case, like you know, a Pixel or any other Android tablet, I don't think it's really worth upgrading from one to the other. I'm only letting you guys know because I'm such a big Google fanboy and 
I upgraded because I thought it'd be such a big astonishing upgrade, but really the addition of apps have been cool, but unless you're an app junkie, which I'm not, I only use really like Hearthstone on my phone and then uh, like a social media apps don't really benefit because you can use like the web apps like Facebook and Instagram. They have regular web pages. I mean, besides Snapchat, but I mean, who cares about that? So I'm only letting you guys this know because I don't feel like it was worth the upgrade in my opinion. Yeah, Bagger Life has been amazing. Like unless you're constantly like away from an outlet, or you're at school and you're there for eight nine hours. I mean, college crazy hours, and I can understand. But even I take this thing to school, you know, four days a week, and uh, very rarely has it died on me. Yeah, I'll be like on my on the last leg, like twenty thirty percent. But hey, I mean, it works. I mean, this thing does charge really fast, though. I won't I won't deny that it charges like that. But um, that multimedia hit for me was such a big hit because not having the ability, just hearing the audio, just just it's, it, it bugs me because I use I literally have used this thing as a speaker. You know, I'll play music and I'll blare like throughout the house so loud. So that downgrade for me was a really big hit, and I don't know. I just can't. I just can't. I, I just can't watch videos on this guy over this guy because I just prefer the audio so much more. Because really. Once you start watching videos on this beautiful screen, same screen by the way, besides the color, you definitely start to notice it. So that's just my five cents. I, like I said, I haven't seen a lot of videos comparing like the real, is it really worth the upgrade? And honestly, unless you're a big, um, big on, you know, having like a super long battery life and you really, really need Android apps, I don't really think it's worth it. Cause even though the, uh, this guy technically has double the RAM, I really don't feel it. Like it, day by day, I don't even notice. I mean, this thing was already stupid fast that it was. I think I was getting like a twenty-two thousand octane on this guy and like a twenty-six on this guy. So even then, I mean, it still completely blew everything out of the water. So I don't know. Just to me, it really doesn't matter. So if you're looking for a good media experience and you're buying an outlet, I say go twenty thirteen because you know what, you can find a twenty thirteens for as low as three hundred bucks now. Finding a Chromebook Pixel 2 is a chore. It's so hard to do. You you will literally be looking. And I got lucky. I got lucky. I got this guy for 640 But everybody else is buying theirs for 800 900 bucks. you know, crazy amounts. I mean, that's the regular. Imagine the LS, you might be looking at maybe anywhere up to $1,000 to $1,200. And that, to me, isn't worth it. Again, that's just me though, especially, you know, it's hard to find a new version of these. These are impossible, but you can find new versions of this guy on Amazon and eBay for around 300, 400 bucks. I mean, you can even really get in there and get a used one for maybe as low as 300, 200 and something. So that's just my opinion.